How's it going, fabulous TAs? In this video, I'm going to share with you a bite-sized way to boost your English skills. Hello there, and welcome back to TA in Control. My name is Lauren Reisner, and here I give you the tools and resources to be a teaching assistant working at your most confident best. And as I said, in this video, I'm going to share with you a bite-sized way to boost your English skills. We've already talked about this a little bit in my video, how to boost your English skills without breaking your brain. So if you haven't yet seen it, I've put a link to it in the description below. Watching it will put this video into context for you. Having said all that, let's dive right in. Remember, anyone can be good at English. The problem is that not everyone can teach English and it's likely you encountered someone who could not teach English when you were at school. And something else to remember is that another alternative to my method is to embark on some kind of English course, but you cannot guarantee that you'll be learning what the children in school are learning at the same time that they are learning it. My method allows you to learn what the children are learning and stay one step ahead. Step one, get the English planning for the current half term you are in and for each week from the teacher concerned. Step two, look at the planning to find out what your class is learning the next time you are with them. Step three, decide if you have any gaps in your knowledge. Step four, if you do, Research where you can learn what you need to know. BBC Bite Size is a great resource for English, as is YouTube. Go on to YouTube and type what you need to know in its search bar. I guarantee there'll be several people who will explain it brilliantly. Step five, sit down for 20 minutes to get yourself familiar with the particular English concept you are learning. Step six, work out what are the main points you need to know in class. Step seven, print out or write down any information that will assist you with teaching and supporting the children in class. Once you have established a routine with the above steps, you'll be amazed at how confident, how confident you'll become with English. Be aware that any reluctance you have right now about getting to grips with English will only be overcome by getting on with it. Stubbornly thinking you can't do English will just keep you stuck and feeling uneasy in class during English lessons. Just make a start with step one. I've mapped it all out for you. And if you would like further help with this, I have written a book that gives you a daily framework for learning English in bite-sized pieces. I've put a link to it in the description below. Have some faith in yourself. You can do this. Now, if you'd like to be notified about my videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up and click the subscribe button along with the bell icon to ensure you get to hear when I've uploaded a new video so that you too can find out what a difference TA in control will make to your working life. And if you haven't yet, come and join my Facebook group, TA in Control Free Group and get access to all my free resources. Thank you.